Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ijaz Ahmed. Uh, I'm from Kashmir. I'm working in Mumbai now. Uh, when I uh, try to present Islam to non-Muslims, uh, I find most of them receptive and uh, they want to know more. But there are some people who don't show any interest and uh, sometimes they become angry. How to deal such people and present Islam to them again and again? And second question is, I find it uh, difficult to uh, do wazoo in my office as uh, the toilets are western, only tissue papers are there and I don't find any place to wash my feet. There are two questions. The first question is that Alhamdulillah when does dawa, most of the non-Muslim are receptive, some are not receptive, it's not effective, how to do dawa, they get angry. Second question is that in his office there are western toilets and tissue paper, how can I do wudu? How is possible? As far as the second question which is a shorter answer, I'll give that first. That whatever the situation is, you should adapt yourself. I travel much in different parts of the world. And Alhamdulillah, you have to follow. So if it's a western toilet, and if you say that there's no water in the toilet, talking about? In the toilet for doing wudu or for going call of nature? The water is there in all the toilets outside. So take a mug from outside and go into the pot and put the water over your feet and do it. There are various ways. We do wudu even in the airplane. We have to. So that time, but naturally you can't lift your leg and put it in the basin because the thing is so small. So that time I have to take a glass and that's what you do. Take the glass of water and put your leg and a little balancing you have to do to be clean. So all this you can adapt it depending upon the situation. But what do you have to do? And it's possible, no, that's not possible. If there's no water in that area, then tayammum is possible. But the tayammum rule is, if you can't find water, then you can. The water is not there only in that toilet, that doesn't mean you can do tayammum. If it's not there in that area, then fine. As far as the first question is concerned that you have done dawah and Alhamdulillah most of your non-Muslim friends are receptive. Some are not receptive. Some get angry. Or some don't want to listen. Some don't pay heed. So brother, if people who don't pay heed, you should use the technique in which they will ask you questions on Islam. For example, normally, if you tell a friend that, Oh brother John, or Amu, I want to speak to you about Islam. Please give me five minutes. So mostly the answer will be no. So you have to use the technique or you say that when you speak to non-Muslim, they don't listen, they don't hear. So you have to use the technique, you have to instigate them to make you ask questions on Islam. For example, just a simple situation that I was in a non-Muslim atmosphere while in a medical college. And the atmosphere of medical college is the most so-called modern, I don't consider it modern, but immodest you could say. And there when we used to have a lunch, I just used to make a passing remark that if some men are not allowed to marry more than one woman, women as a whole cannot live modestly in the world. So the person eating stops. What do you mean if some men in the world are not allowed to marry more than one woman, women as a whole can't live modestly? Ah, I talk about polygamy. I said, see brother, if you want the answer, I want 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I'll give you 20 minutes. Thinking that, you know, now we'll pull a fast one. Talking about polygamy. So now I am instigating him to ask a question and when he asks a question, I said, see, 10, 10 minutes, I will give you 20 minutes. Now, when he is asking me for time, he is paying attention now. And then the answer is behind my back. My mind it is there. And I start the tape recorder. Ta -da 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 -da. With modulation everything, you know. So, how to instigate is important. So, you drive a car is fine. If you don't know how to start, what is the use of your driving? If you don't know where the ignition key is, what is the use of your driving? So, you should know how to start. So, knowledge is important. Being a good driver is important, how to start the car is also important. So here there are techniques which we give in the Dawa training program, how to instigate a non-Muslim to ask you questions on Islam. For example, in the college atmosphere where the atmosphere is immodest and each teasing is very common, we just have to make a passing remark. Let's suppose your friend is teasing a girl, so just ask me a question, what if someone teases your sister? If someone teases my sister, I'll break his neck. I said, what? If someone teases your sister, you want to break his neck, break his leg, break his hand, and you are teasing somebody your sister, Arey, yaar, wo to aisi ladki hai. So then they start justifying. Oh, that girl is like that, that girl is trying to indicate. Back of my mind, I want to talk about hijab. But if I say I want to talk about hijab, you won't give me a hearing. So you should know how to instigate. How to dawah the different technique. If you are traveling in a bus, and the person sitting next to you is a stranger, after 10 minutes you will get down. If you don't know Dawah, the opportunity is lost. You may never meet him in your full life. So you can't tell, okay, brother Joe, I want to talk to you about Islam. You know, now we have 10 minutes. Ask a simple question. What is the cross you are wearing? Back of my mind, 
was Jesus Christ crucified, peace be upon him. But how to start is a technique. So that inshallah when you do the training or you go to our website irf.net, these are the ways. And same, if they're not listening, make them interested. If they get violent, how to turn the tables over with the technique. Like what they say, most of the time, according to me, the best is agree and prove them wrong. Someone tells me 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. I said, fine, you have to take 2,000, take 2,000, give me 5,000. He said, no, no, no. You know, this is a technique. Agreeing and proving them wrong. And sometimes what they say is right, like Juma Juma Ad Din, Juma Juma Ad Din. Okay, Prophet said, same day bhi karo, same ghande mein karo. Many a times, the best is what they tell. Agree and prove them wrong if you can do. That's not the only style, huh? Many a times, if you're not conversant, then you fall in the ditch more. So if you experience and you know how to do it, inshallah, that's very easy. Hope that's the question.